The work of teaching and caring for young children is, you know, really hard and complex work. Um, and unfortunately, though, as a society, we generally don't see it that way or treat it that way. In a field where we're talking about workers who are overall poorly paid and undercompensated, that women of color, African American and Hispanic women in particular, are experiencing even lower wages than their peers. And that's something that's really um, important to bring attention to and to understand. Well, there's no single Wage, racial wage gap that exists, there's multiple wage gaps. So um, for African American teachers, for example, we see that um, they are more likely to work with infant and toddler uh, children, and infant and toddler teachers um, earn less than teachers who are working with preschool age children. We also see that African American edu um, early educators experience a smaller pay bump for moving from working with younger children to older children. But with Hispanic teachers, uh, where we see the gaps at play are really in access to jobs. So Hispanic teachers are more likely than their peers to work as assistant teachers than lead teachers. And of course, assistant teachers um, are going to earn less than a head or a lead teacher. Um, there has been um, minimal attention to the disparities that exist among the workforce. The racial diversity of the early care and education workforce is definitely a strength to build upon. You know, we have a workforce that is 40% people of color and those are mostly women. Um, but it would be really insufficient to just leave it at that and not um, pay attention to the stratification and uh, identify strategies and resources and practices to disrupt the stratification.